Hey guys, welcome to the latest video here on YouTube from Z Code System. Drew here speaking to you, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming games in the Champions League, which will be taking place on November the 23rd and 24th. That's Tuesday and Wednesday night. Some big games going on this week, and we're specifically going to be talking about the games on Wednesday the 24th, which will be exciting and headlined by Manchester City playing Paris Saint-Germain in Manchester, and that will be a big game. We're going to see those two teams playing uh, in the group and uh, the winner likely being the group winner to go on to the knockout stages. Now, we're almost to the knockout stages. We've got uh, just two group stage matches to go. Uh, two teams from each group, as you know, will be going on to the round of 16, which will be exciting. And that will be going on, I guess, if I can remember correctly, at the end of February and the beginning of March is when those will kick off. I'm always never sure about uh, if it's going to be the end of February or the beginning of March when those start up again. But uh, it'll be exciting football going on this week, Tuesday and Wednesday night. And of course, Thursday, you're going to have Europa League and Europa Conference League games going on. And then we'll get back into the weekend's club domestic fixtures. And of course, you can always get your picks from the Soccer Buddy tool, which we'll be using here today, as well as going over to the VIP wall and getting picks there for the upcoming games in the Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League, and of course, with the domestic leagues going on around the world. So guys, great to have you here. Of course, if you're not a member of Z-Code System yet, go over there and sign up and be a member to get all of these tools all the time. So you don't have to just wait for these videos to come out and the blogs to come out. You can get the tools and go anytime you want to, to get the picks and then make your smart wagers. All right, so let's take a look at the Champions League. And before we do uh, take a look at these picks, let's have a look first at the current odds on teams to win the Champions League. All right, so there you have it, Bet365. That's the bet uh, sportsbook that I typically use and the one I show here most of the time on uh, Z Code system. And we've got our UEFA Champions League 2021-2022. Uh, we've got our futures winners odds. I've just scrolled down to get everybody there into the picture. And as you can see right now, Manchester City are plus 350 to win the Champions League. Uh, as you may remember, they are the runners up uh, in the Champions League. They were runners up last season. Uh, they lost to Chelsea in the final. And you can see Chelsea have the fifth best odds at 750 plus 750, that is. And, uh, you know, they are playing very well right now, top of the Premier League, as they go into this midweek round of fixtures. They're going to be playing Juventus uh, on Tuesday night. It's going to be a big game there at Stamford Bridge, Stamford Bridge in London. Uh, Manchester City, as I said previously, they're going to be playing Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, PSG are plus 550 to win the, uh, the Champions League this year. They were runners-up in the... Uh, 2020 final to Bayern Munich, who are number two in odds at the moment uh, from sportsbooks at plus 400. As you can see there, Liverpool are at plus 550 to win the Champions League this season, having a strong season. And we're going to talk about their game coming up on Wednesday night. And then we we go down from there. You know, that, uh, that Manchester United at plus 1600 uh, is a bit of a, a shocker there that they are the sixth best odds to win the uh, to win the Champions League this season, uh, and they've just made a coaching change this week. No permanent coach there yet, uh, but a bit of a shocker that that would be the sixth highest. Uh, and, you know, another one that gives a bit of a shock to me is uh, the Ajax. Um, uh, Ajax, they're at plus 2,000. I think Ajax are playing fantastic, and they you know, they could get to the final this year. They were um, semi-finalists just a few seasons ago, 2019. Um, they're playing great football right now. Uh, a bit of a surprise still, though, that they would be that high uh, from sports books, especially when you have teams such as Juventus uh, and Real Madrid right behind them, Atletico, Barcelona, and Inter Milan. Obviously, a lot of these teams have their own issues right now as we go into match day five of the Champions League. So let's get on to these picks here with the Soccer Buddy tool, and let's get into that now. Okay, so here's the Soccer Buddy tool. If you follow us here on YouTube and on the blog, you'll know this tool by now. Uh, we love to use it here at uh, Z Code System. Well, it's our tool, so obviously we love to use it, but you'll probably love to use it as well. Uh, just sign up to Z Code System and you can use it anytime you want to. And uh, if you need a little bit of help knowing how this works, of course, you can always hit the How It Works read about it, watch the tutorial about it. Uh, the tutorial can also be found on the YouTube page. Just search for that and you'll be able to get that information. I'm going to click on hot trends to see if we've got any hot trends here. And we do at least have one um, as I scroll down here for the, uh, the RB Leipzig. 
RB Leipzig Club Bruges game. So we are five of six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Club Bruges in the last six games. And we are two of two predicting draws in games with Club Bruges in the last six games. And so this is going to be a game where we have two teams uh, in the Champions League. These two teams, Club Bruges and RB Leipzig, are also in with Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City uh, in their group, uh, Group A, I believe it is. Uh, this is the two teams fighting for third place and uh, to transfer to the Europa League. Uh, neither of them are going to catch Paris Saint-Germain or Manchester City here as we go down to the down to the wire the last two days. Uh, RB Leipzig have really struggled in the Champions League. Uh, Club Bruges have done decently. Uh, they've picked up points against uh, Leipzig as well as against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they get points again. Leipzig uh, have taken a bit of a step backwards this year under new coach Jesse Marsh. And they are a team that is struggling to see out games and get wins, struggling to keep goals out. And I think that this could definitely end in that 2-2 predicted scoreline by Soccer Buddy. Uh, I do like a draw in this game with both teams scoring. Now, looking at that Liverpool game there, Liverpool won 5-1 last time these two teams played in the Champions League. That was back in September uh, in Porto. Uh, 2-1 seems a bit too close to me uh, with this game. Now, keep in mind, Liverpool do have a few injuries going into this game. Uh, they are coming off of a brilliant 4-0 win in the Premier League against Arsenal at Anfield, where this game will be played against Porto. Uh, Jurgen Klopp's team is through to the next round already. Uh, they've won the group. And he doesn't necessarily have to play his top players. He could rest Sadio Mane, uh, Mohamed Salah. He can rest Virgil van Dijk. He can rest all of these key players uh, for games coming up because Liverpool are fighting on four fronts this season. Uh, they're doing well in the Champions League. They're they're near about the top of the table in the Premier League, fighting for the title. Uh, so far, they are in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. And they, of course, will enter the FA Cup after Christmas. So they're on four fronts and they need to rest players, especially with the injury uh, history that the team has over the last couple of seasons. Um, I don't expect this to be necessarily as close as 2-1. Uh, I expect Liverpool to pick up a win and I wouldn't be surprised if Liverpool win at home again to nil, shutting out Porto. I could see 2-0, 3-0, uh, 3-1 here in this game. Uh, I think Liverpool will win this quite handily. Okay, moving on to Inter Milan and Shakhtar Donetsk. We're going to see Inter uh, going into this game. They're, they're playing really well. Uh, third place right now in Serie A, coming off of a big win over first place Napoli at the weekend. And I can't see anything but an Inter win. We've got a 2-1 scoreline win here, courtesy of the soccer buddy. That uh, might be a bit too close. Shakhtar haven't done too well uh, this year in the Champions League. So I could see a 2-0 win to Inter in this one uh, as we go to the, uh, we go into match day six of the Champions League with Inter fighting to get through to the next round. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a few more games and two of the games I'm going to talk about, we're just going to talk about two more games, but you know what? You are here on the video, so you're going to get these picks just by looking at this video and seeing what we've got there um, because we've got picks for all of these games on Wednesday night, but I just want to talk about two more quickly uh, before we get out of here this week. Don't want this video to go too long, uh, but of course, I want to talk about that PSG Manchester City game uh, that we're going to see on Wednesday night. Very exciting game. Manchester City go into this game, though, with uh, a couple of injury issues. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has tested positive for coronavirus, according to the latest reports. He's not going to play in this game. And Jack Grealish is also uh, ruled out at the moment uh, due to an injury. Uh, I believe he is maybe not necessarily ruled out, but he's a major doubt for the game as of today, Monday. Uh, PSG go into this game. They're going to be without uh, key defenders. Uh, a key defender uh, in Marquinhos, he's going to miss this game. And there's going to be a few other players that look to be set to miss the game. Um, Kaylor Navas is going to have to come into goal due to Gianluigi Donnarumma being injured. Now, due to these injuries, that leaves this game very, very close, uh, in my opinion. De Bruyne's absence for Manchester City is key. Now, Manchester City went to Paris in the reverse leg, uh, the reverse tie, I should say, of this. Uh, against PSG, and they lost 2-0. They dominated the game. They played really well, and to be honest, they outplayed PSG except for in the scoreline. And you've got to worry about this PSG team. Uh, I'm no PSG fan, and uh, and I can see, um, like like very like most uh, most everybody else, 
the issues that PSG have and the reasons why they most likely will not win the Champions League this season. And that is because of the three high-priced attackers uh, that they have in Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe, and Neymar. These three players literally just camp out at the halfway line. They do no defending um, and they do very little running uh, during the game unless it is into the attacking third towards the opposition goal. And if you go back to the game that these teams played in Paris in September and you look at the heat maps, uh, you'll you'll see that all three of them basically stayed right on the halfway line uh, throughout the whole game. And now Messi did score one goal, possibly two goals. I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. And he scored at the weekend uh, for PSG. But when these when when PSG come up against these stronger teams, such as your Man City, such as your Liverpools, uh, your Real Madrids, they're gonna struggle because they don't have that front three who are going to track back. They're going to only they're going to only have seven players defending uh, against um, these super, these very strong attacking teams. Now, I think PSG can do well in this game, uh, especially with De Bruyne. Uh, missing uh, in action. He's City's key attacking player. But I think they're going to come up short this time in Manchester. I think they're going to uh, struggle against Manchester City's defense. Uh, Manchester City are coming off of a 3-0 win against Everton at the weekend in the Premier League. Uh, A very good win for Manchester City, keeping them second in the league and right on the tails of Chelsea. Uh, So I think Manchester City are going to win this game, and I think it will be close. I think 2-1 is a very good scoreline. Uh, for these two teams, both teams to score in over 2.5 goals in this game. Now, I want to talk about one last game today, and that is the Ajax Besiktas game uh, going on uh, on Wednesday night. Ajax are through to the next round; they are atop their group. They are a perfect 12 points from 12. The Besiktas are perfect as well, but in a different way. They've not won any games. They have zero points from 12, uh, so they are perfect at losing uh, in the Champions League so far. Uh, and I, I highlight this game because, for one, uh, we are predicting we are 5 for 6 predicting totals of over 1.5 goals in Ajax games in the last six games. Uh, and I also pick this because Ajax should win this without any issues. Um, this should be a pretty cut and dry game. Um, pretty cut and dry, just like that Real madrid Sheriff Terraspor game. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Sheriff Terraspor did do really well against Real Madrid in that last game. So uh, you might uh, go into that game with a little... Uh, worry. But Ajax in this game, they should defeat Besiktas without any worry. Um, this is a really good Ajax team. Great manager, Eric Ten Hag. Uh, a lot of teams want to sign him. Uh, Manchester City, or excuse me, not Manchester City, Manchester United are one team that are, are definitely interested in Ten Hag uh, for the work that he's done there at Ajax. Uh, now that they have a vacancy in uh, in Manchester, um, they'll be looking for Ten Hag, who has already turned down jobs uh, with other big clubs to stay at Ajax. Um, like I say, this is going to be a really good game. Ajax, definitely a team to watch out for. You saw that uh, they are plus 2,000 to win the Champions League. They are underdogs to do it despite being such such a good team. Uh, and again, in 2019, they were semifinalists. They knocked out Real Madrid that year and Juventus that year um, to get to the final. And it took a Herculean effort from uh, Tottenham Hotspur to come back and to defeat Ajax. Uh, to, to, to eliminate them. Um, I'm going for Ajax to win this game. I'm not sure I like that 2-1 scoreline. I actually like Ajax to win 3-0 or maybe 4-0. Uh, not necessarily both teams to score. Uh, Ajax are just a good attacking team, and I'm picking them to win this game. So those are my picks for the Champions League this week. Match day five going on on Wednesday night. These are specifically Wednesday night's games. Now, again, Tuesday night, we'll see games kick off uh, to start the week. And then they'll continue on Wednesday night. And, of course, you have Europa League and Europa Conference League on Thursday. So you can go over to Z-Code System, sign up, and get all the picks there from Soccer Buddy as well as from the VIP wall for those games uh, and for all the games that I didn't mention in the Champions League this week. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything. And and like and subscribe to the video and stay up to date on everything we do here at Z-Code System. Good luck with your betting in the Champions League, and we will see you next time here on Z-Code System.